unfortunately have not found a way to get it mixed without the bubbles in. But because I use colors, can't really see it. And when you have everything in your silicone molds, you use the torch to blow any bubbles out. So I haven't had issues so far. Uh, disclaimer, <laughs> I'm not a professional. I just started doing this within the last year. Just started really taking it seriously past week or two. But I know when I first started, I did not have the tools needed to hide some ammo to do it right. So. Okay. Once you have everything mixed, I'm doing three different colors. So. Three cups. Now for this wind chime, I am making it a little translucent, so I am not using much mica powder. Um, this stuff is all kind of glittery too, so it gives it a cute little glitter. I'm going to show you how much I put in. I can't really see on the camera, but it's just a small amount. Okay. I'm doing a pink, a yellow, and a gold. Yellow and gold look very similar. Um, this is gold. That is literally all that you need for all three. Okay. Um, I don't really have a rhyme or reason to how much I use, but I just scoop from one cup into the others. Um, the more resin you use, the more translucent it's going to look. And for my wind chimes, that'll work because it's going to be out in the sun and it, it's going to look pretty, pretty cool. Okay. For my two resin cups, I just throw them away. There's no point in saving them. Um, I guess if you get the silicone ones, you can reuse it. But... Just want to show you how pretty these colors turn. See this? It's like a translucent pink. Repeat the process. When you do translucent yellows and golds, it looks so cool when it's done. Gold has always been my favorite because it just always looks so cool. Um, here's a finished product of mine with gold and black mixed together, and it just looks so neat. I, I love the way it turns out. Okay, make sure you have it mixed nice. Um, if you don't mix it all the way when you go to pour it into your molds, you'll have a, a crazy cool looking thing actually. So. I decided to add a turquoise and I, I just mixed the gold and the yellow together because they looked so similar there wouldn't be a big difference on my wind chimes. Turquoise turns out so freaking cool looking. You see that color? Okay. My gloves are ripping because of my nails. Not fun. Um, over here, I have my silicone. This is what I'm using for my molds right now because I'm making circular um, wind chimes. So I'm going to fill it up and then I'll be back. Okay. So I have filled all of my pieces. I had a little bit extra. So I took some stars and moons from another wind chime that I did, filled those up. Uh, I decided to add blue because the yellow and the gold look too similar. So now do you see the air bubbles? This is where the torch comes in handy. 
Oh, you do? What's this? And it makes sure to pop any air bubble that you might have. You might need to go back and do it a second time once it starts to dry, but besides that, you're good to go. Okay, make sure you follow me and like for a part two on when I'm taking them apart and I will show you guys how to make the wind chime. Thanks for watching. Bye.